Science 6, Interactions in Coral Reefs and Mangroves. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the different types of interactions among living things in coral reefs and mangrove forests. Give examples of living things in coral reefs and mangroves. Classify the categories of coral reefs. Coral reefs as an ecosystem. Coral reefs comprise corals and other various organisms. Corals or coral polyps are cnidarian invertebrates that live and form colonies. These coral polyps use calcium carbonate to form the hard foundation structure where the colony can flourish. From here, other organisms like aquatic invertebrates, fishes, and plants live together with the appropriate abiotic components such as saltwater salinity, nutrients, and sunlight. Coral reefs are considered as the rainforest of the ocean because it supports one-fourth of the total marine life on Earth while only occupying less than 1% of the seafloor. Marine animals in coral reefs include small and large fishes, sea turtles, dolphins, marine snakes, and sharks. Invertebrates such as snails, squids, sponges, jellyfishes, starfishes, and many more. Many of these animals depend on coral reef plants for food. Marine plants in the coral reefs include many types of algae, such as seaweeds and microscopic phytoplankton. Coral reefs vary based on the physical characteristics that form the reef. Fringing reef is a reef that directly forms near island shores where the water is shallow. It is directly attached to the shore. Barrier reef is a reef that is separated from the island shore by a lagoon or a shallow stretch of water. They are like running parallel to a shore and often located farther from the shore compared to fringing reefs. An atoll reef is a circular reef surrounding deep open water at the center. Some atolls form an island-like structure. Atolls are deep sea formations that often develop along with submerged islands or underwater volcanic structures. Interactions and food chain relationships in coral reefs The clownfish and sea anemone relationship exhibits mutualism. The sea anemone provides the clownfish protection and shelter, while the clownfish provides the sea anemone nutrients through its wastes while also scaring off potential predator fishes of anemone. The jellyfish and small fish relationship is an example of commensalism. Small fish can hide inside the jellyfish's stinging tentacles if the sting does not affect them. The stinging tentacles protect the hiding fish from larger predators. This relationship has no effect on the jellyfish. An example of parasitic relationship is between the Laos Simothoa exigua and fish, including those in the coral reefs. This marine louse enters through the fish gills, attacks the fish tongue, and attaches itself as the fish's new tongue. Scientists are still studying if the parasite causes disease, but they observed its host fish to be undernourished. Corals and sponges in a reef are in a competition. They stay in one place and compete for space. An example of predation in coral reefs occurs between a crown of thorn starfish feeding on coral polyps. The predator is the starfish, and the prey is the coral polyps. Feeding relationship in coral reefs often start with marine algae. They are the producers, along with the other marine plants. In one observable food chain, krill or shrimps eat marine algae or phytoplankton. Shrimps and krill are preys of box jellyfish, which will later be eaten by a green sea turtle. 
Tiger sharks are quaternary consumers that prey on green sea turtles. Mangrove forests as an ecosystem. Mangrove forests, or Baca Juan in Filipino, is an area mainly inhabited by different mangrove plants along with various animals. This ecosystem is full of living organisms underwater and above water. Mangroves support various plants, microorganisms, lichens, algae, invertebrates, fishes, reptiles, amphibians, birds, and even mammals. Mangroves are woody plants that grow on warmer coastal areas and thrive in saltwater and low oxygen muddy soil. They can live in waters of varying salinity levels. There are different types of mangroves. Popular types include the red and black or gray mangroves. Red mangroves are the popular type identified as having arching prop roots above the soil and water, making them look like standing on stilts. Black or gray mangroves have protruding pencil-like roots called pneumatophores that help collect oxygen. Interactions and food chain relationships in mangrove forests Some mangrove trees are ant plants, plants that grow structures for ants to live. Ants safely live in these structures. The plant gets nutrients from the litter left by the ants. An example of commensalism in mangroves occurs between an oyster and a mangrove pneumatophore. The oyster has a solid base to live, while the mangrove is not harmed. Large predators in mangroves include estuarine and saltwater crocodiles. Young crocodiles feed on small prey such as insects, crustaceans, fish, while adult crocodiles feed on larger animals. An example of parasitism is mistletoe growing on a mangrove tree. The mistletoe grows into the tree bark to take the food and water from the mangrove tree. The mangrove tree loses some of its food and is therefore harmed. One food chain in mangroves starts with the mangrove plant. The mangrove tree crab is an omnivore, but most often feed on mangrove leaves. Many types of mangrove fish prey on mangrove tree crabs. They eat mangrove tree crabs that accidentally fall on water. Birds like osprey and heron hunt for fish in mangroves. And if a hungry crocodile is nearby, the bird may end up as a meal for the crocodile. Practice exercise. Identify the type of relationship existing between these pairs of organisms. 1. Jellyfish and small fishes. 2. Mistletoe and mangrove tree 3. Parasitism 3. Corals and sponges 4. Competition 4. Ants and ant plant mangroves. Mutualism. 5. Crown of thorns starfish and coral polyps. Predation. 